I would probably shy away from calling it in the same class just because that has some technical kind of meaning, but um, its role in therapy will be very, very similar. Now, a couple of things, our report is done, but the FDA has not yet uh, formally decided whether to approve this drug or not. They haven't been able to get overseas to check the factories. And so there's some interesting issues there. Um, but it's also a drug that even though it is also administered um, similarly, it's administered just twice a year as opposed to every two or four weeks. And so there, there, there's a feeling that that may have some, for some patients in particular, a clinical benefit because they can get it in the doctor's office, make sure they get it when they come in for their biannual visit for many of these patients. And so there's a sense that it may provide a nice addition to the armamentarium of doctors who are always looking for new ways to make sure that patients bring their cholesterol down. The other thing about this drug though is not only is it not FDA approved, but again, at this stage, we don't have the clinical trial results on strokes, heart attacks, and, and mortality that will come again in a few years. So we're kind of assuming for the time being that again, the reduction in cholesterol will kind of translate through into those good outcomes for patients in the same way, but we'll know more in a couple of years and we may need to revise our report accordingly. 